friends, MD Vegan. It's time for my daily greens again. That's basically every day. And today I have a special bonus. I have some green herbs. And they are my favorite kitchen herbs. I have to say I'm in Germany here. And we use mostly parsley and chives. That's what we always have uh, at the stores. And I always try to have something that's a little bit at home. Especially chives. Yeah, I like them a lot. They are a gentle kind of onion, a green onion, but very gentle. <laughs> and parsley, okay, everybody knows it's chopped parsley, of course, I think. This is, um, greens are the healthiest food, and uh, parsley especially is a, cl a cleanser for heavy metals. It has a sour green flavor. The chives have a little bit of flavor like an onion that makes it earth-like, a whole, whole food flavor, um, the umami flavor where all flavors are in. That's what I like onion for, and onion-like flavors. <clears throat> it gives a nice rounding. And, um, well, I do a romaine salad, I show you. But mostly with my salads, um, the dressings are important because they not only add nutrition. Yeah? I have here the greens here in the, in the dressing, and I have a cashew and a nut and a sesame seed. Yeah, that adds fat and protein, so it's a highly nutritious dressing. But also variety. So when I make a standard salad, like romaine, tomatoes, onions, like that, very simple, I add a new dressing to have a new salad. Yeah. That's my basic idea of a salad. Yeah. Um, a simple combination of main ingredients and a new dressing. A lot of fun, yeah? So today I have a cashew and sesame seed dressing. Just to show you again, it's not even half a cup, it's a little bit less because I have um, a small amount of sesame seeds to that. This is savory, this is more sweet, so it balances each other out a little bit. It's nice for a dressing. And a lemon, a small lemon this time. Last time I made this dressing, I had a large lemon, so I always experiment a little bit from one day to the other. I take a little bit less of this and more of this to find out how it works, and this is less lemon. And, uh, a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, any any kind of salt you you like, you can you have. It's my Himalayan salt. Maybe you see here. <laughs> it's hard to see. And here I have black black pepper. It's a little bit less than the salt. Yeah, uh, pepper is a little stronger in the flavor. Black pepper is very very healthy, um, especially the black round uh, outside of the black peppercorns is super healthy for many reasons. Um, it's recommended, but it is not so easy for the, for the uh, t uh, stomach, so it is a little bit aggressive. So uh, also moderation in pepper, but it is very healthy. So a little bit of water to get the blender started. I'll begin with half a cup. I need a little bit of runnier dressing today, uh, dressing today because I put a lot of green herbs in there that makes it a little bit thicker. So a blender dance. First blending to break it down. Now I check the flavor, adjust a little bit if necessary, and then I let it sit for a moment. Good. Yeah. It's good. A little bit less lemon is very good. The other one was aggressive. <clears throat> also good, but always depends on what you want. So that sits for a moment, and I blend it again to get the final texture, and that also makes the flavor round, more round, roundish. When you break it up completely and make it very smooth, all the seeds and the nuts. <coughs> when, you, when you break down the nuts and the seeds completely, it gets, um, the flavor gets more rounded, and that is uh, very nice, so the second blending will do a lot. For a moment, I wait. And now I show you my romaine. This is a mini romaine, they call it. It's a wonderful leafy green. Yeah, that's my main green today. I need a green every day. <laughs> uh, healthiest food. And the, the romaine is nice because they have these crunchy leaves. 
and they have a, also a nice flavor. They are not too bitter. Oftentimes, greens are tend a little bit bitter, but um, then you have to have a little bit of, you balance it with other ingredients of the dressing. But the romaine is so easy, that makes it nice. And you can cut it easily into these chunks, you see, and I do. Uh, I put the leaves, stack them, stack them on top of each other. First, of course, I wash the leaves thoroughly. I dry them in a salad spinner and I stack them on top and then cut it lengthwise and, and, and then crosswise. So I have some nice pieces. And this is very easy with romaine because the leaves are crunchy and tasty. So very easy salad. I like that. Here, the dressing can be a little bit creamier because these leaves, they won't, they won't be meshed if you put a dressing on top. They keep their shape. That's very important because that's the one and most important thing with a green salad, <laughs> the leaves have to be crunchy and fresh. Otherwise, the salad is nothing, really. <laughs> there has to be, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Always exceptions, but most of the time. So, this is the, the basic, the green. Uh, and then I add something. There uh, can be many, many ways to do that. Today I have a red bell pepper. It's a half a bell pepper. And a similar amount of corn. Yeah, bell pepper and corn is a classic combination. It goes very nice with a crunchy green, leafy green, that's very nice. Yeah. And, and then I have an onion, and that's it, basically. That's very easy. You see, half a red onion on top goes nicely with all the three ingredients, with corn, with bell pepper, and with romaine, or greens. Onions are nice. It's crunchy, and it's sharp, it's hot flavor. Kind of small pieces, so the flavor is diluted everywhere and it adds nicely to the others. So that's it, yeah, here. My <laughs> salad ingredients here, it's beautiful, right? It's worth a look, beautiful colors. Yeah, that's what the food should look like. Colorful and fresh, <laughs> very easy. Yeah. And then I go back to my dressing, do a second blending, get the right creaminess and the flavor, let's see. Check one more time the texture. I said it must be, it must be a little bit runnier because of the herbs. A lot of herbs in there. Maybe a little runnier. A little bit maybe. Small amount. Yeah. <coughs> Just for the texture and because the greens show you in a moment. Herbs and the spices you put into dressing over are, are always a thickener too. Yeah. Let me try again. Yeah, that's ready now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here, here are my green herbs again. That is uh, parsley, just roughly chopped up. Not so important. The stems go also in. It's very, very powerful, and the most powerful part of the parsley are the stems. And the chives, of course, they are only stems. You see, I cut them also up. And I don't want to um, really show you the dressing, the texture, so that you see how runny it is, just to give you an impression I'm talking about here. Careful not to damn it here. You see, it's flowing. Maybe you can see that. I, yeah, not really, but okay. You have to believe me. So I, I just put in the herbs into the, into the blender, and I will not blend it. I will just pulse it very shortly. So then um, it's all combined, but at the same time, um, the green herbs remain whole. So I don't want to have them all broken down like the nuts. They should be whole. And the greens are, the herbs are very nice, like that. And um, it's a difference if you make a green dressing or a white dressing with some green dots in it. That's a big difference, <laughs> flavor-wise and also. Let's see, one more pulse here. <laughs> That's all I need to do, and then now I show you the dressing. First, I bring it down from the sides here, 
with this uh, tool to bring it all down. And then I show you the dressing, what it looks like. Now pour it over the side. Again, this beautiful, beautiful colors here, red and green and, and white and yellow, everything is there. And now, you see, now it's thick with the greens and with the herbs, see? It's wonderful texture. And you can only do that with this um, romaine because when you have a lettuce, a regular lettuce, that is too, too tender. You know, the tender leafy greens, they would um, mesh, uh, be meshed under this, under this, this uh, thick dressing. It's not so easy. Yeah? But that is easy with the romaine, that's why I like it so much. With, the, with the, another salad, with the lettuce, I would have another dressing for sure. I would have a lighter dressing. May, I could put the dressing and uh, the, the herbs then directly onto the salad, mix it first, and then I put the dressing on top. Maybe a cashew cream or so. Uh, but with this, it's easier. I kind of put the, the herbs into the dressing right away and I have a nicer flavor. It all combines easier. It's, it's the difference. And then that goes onto the. That's a perfect amount of dressing. It's wonderful. All the ingredients here come together nicely. The dressing, dressing should cover everything, but it should not make the salad swim in a dressing. Sometimes that is also nice, but um, I wouldn't like it now for this salad. I just want everything to be nicely covered, evenly, and evenly also um, everything should be everywhere, so to say. i show you what I'm talking about, and that's my salad. Oh, it looks so nice here, yeah. my new dressing. Yeah, it's a romaine with corn and red bell pepper and this chives parsley sesame cashew dressing thanks for watching i hope you enjoy if you like like my video subscribe md league on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter